Hello, this is Ryan with Marketing Booker, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add products to an online store that is hosted with WordPress and WooCommerce. First, I'm going to show you how to sign in to the website as an administrator. Then, I'm going to show you how to add a product to your store, edit it, and remove products you no longer want in the store from your WooCommerce plugin. Next, and finally, I'm going to show you how to review the orders in WooCommerce while logged in to review your orders. Let's start by signing in to the website. Normally, you go to your client's website, and what we're going to do is you're going to have the main page here, and we're going to type a forward slash, then WP, which is for WordPress, then a hyphen, and then admin press enter and bring into the login screen you're gonna have your own login for here click login your login times will vary depending on the host and how many things you have running in the background alright you're logged in simple enough Next thing, we're going to go ahead and show you how to add products to your online store. This client store is hosted with WooCommerce. As you can see here in the list of all the things that's on this website, we have WooCommerce. And underneath of that, we have the products. So highlighting WooCommerce, we see orders and other things we can set up for that, which will be in a more advanced tutorial. Right now, we're just worried about products. You click on products or products here and it can take us to our products page this is what the products page looks to the customer right now and that's what it looks like on the back end if we had categories or tags or stock keeping units all that information would be in here as most of these products are virtual, I mean, there's no actual inventory for them. None of that's needed right now. To remove an object is really darn easy. Highlight an object. You can see this red that says trash. That'll simply remove it. If we wanted to remove more than one, you can check mark them and then select trash you know delete both the things that are selected so we have one here that was a draft I haven't really finished that one we'll go ahead and get rid of it for now bam it's gone simple enough well you're probably more worried about adding product if we bring your attention to the top here, you'll see products, add product. Or you can come back down here to products on the left hand side. Under products, we have add product. Either one of them works. I'm going to go ahead and click on add product. Wait for it to load. And that's going to bring us to the add products page. It's going, to lo whole <clears throat> it's going to load a bunch of fields for us to fill in. And they're all titled pretty well. Pretty self-explanatory. For this, we have the product name. And what we're going to sell today, we're going to sell Bob, the Great King. With a capital K. Everybody loves pictures. So we're going to add a picture of King Bob. First, click on Add Media. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is going to load the media library for this website. As you can see, there's already tons of pictures for here. And now we'll keep scrolling down. And some images we could use if we want. We could click Upload File. We can drag and drop the file into here and it will automatically try and upload it. Or you can always click on Select Files, which will bring up the File Explorer window here. 
and you can navigate through your computer or whatever devices you have hooked up to your computer such as a camera and that way you can upload pictures directly and you can select an image we're not going to do that though we already have tons of images we're going to go ahead and close that didn't mean to do that we're going to go back to the media library and we're going to sell this when you've uploaded the image you're going to the URL will be automatic the title will come from however you had saved and you can add captions alternate text is recommended and of course a description and we're going to insert this into the product which will post it right here in this field you want to click in the field press enter removes the sidebars temporarily so it makes it easier to concentrate on what you're typing and this is where we're going to put in a description of what we're trying to sell so we're going to put in all hail the great king bob and sure bye bob for the low price of free you get 10 minutes of Bob's time just some silly or your full description this is where you want to go into detail of what it is you're trying to sell then what I tend to do is I like to just to copy and paste into the short description you can highlight can hit control C or of course right click hit copy if you scroll down, all your stuff comes back. Skip the, this is that plugin for them. And then we have the product data. This is where we're going to be spending a lot more time on here in a second. For now, we're just going to come down here to where it says product short description. Paste our description in there. And then we have Bob in there again. Scroll back up. Next important step is we want to set the product image, which is right here. Because if we don't, we'll just have a blank field when people go to actually shop. We'll have a description, but there'll be no picture right here. So we need to set this product image. It's going to bring us back to the media library. So for some reason you want to use a different image, you can. I'm going to use the same image. I'm going to hit set product image. At this point, you might get a pop up saying, or you might get something underneath of here saying, you know, this image isn't big enough, or dimensions are off for Facebook or for Google searches. More often than not, you don't really have to worry about that, as there are other plugins most of the time already installed in your site that will re image or resize those images for you anyway. If not, it's always a good idea to check and take a look. So we're going to go ahead and check now. And we're going to click on Preview, which will open this in a new window for us. And this is what it's going to appear like for the customer who is browsing the site. They won't have this bar at the top, though. So we have Bob, the Great King, and there's his images. There's our text. You'll notice that there's no way to purchase this yet because we haven't even put a price on them yet. So let's go back to our ad product here. Let's put a price on Bob. Product data. We're just going to use a simple product. We'll go over these other ones in a different video. For now, this is just going to be simple. And Bob's going to be free, which is $0. If you want to set a sales price, upcoming sales, such as a holiday sale or an event, this is where we'll put the uh, time, or excuse me, the dates in. If you have any questions about these fields, there are these question marks you can hover over. That will give you the information on them. Again, more fields we got to worry about. Tax, none. If you have any questions on the differences between the taxes, you should probably speak with an accountant. Going through these additional menus for this product, we can set up a stock keeping unit. 
since this is going to be a virtual product, we're not really going to do that. You can uh, change the stock status to in and out of stock, or you can have in items that are sold individually. You can enable this to allow only one of this item to be bought in a single order. Usually good for signed memorabilia or something that's a limited print, or you just want to make sure the customer only gets one of. Shipping. Fill in the fields for what it is you're trying to ship if this item is actually physically shipped. Linked products is for upsells, cross sells, and grouping of similar products. That's in a more advanced tutorial. Along with attributes and, of course, advanced. For this client, we have an additional add in for WooCommerce called Field Factories. And you'll see that here in a moment when we actually go to try to purchase this object which forces them to put in a number or fill out a field before they can complete the purchase. But for now, we're going to try and finish uh, adding Bob here to the store. So we're going to make Bob virtual, meaning he's intangible and isn't shipped, which removes the shipping from this side. Let's take a look at our work before we actually publish this for the masses to purchase. and now we have the ability to add this to the cart as you can see we have this custom field here to, before someone's able to purchase objects from the store this is their DCI number something that the client requested and then I have a DCI number there and since this is just a preview adding it to the cart might mess something up so let's not do that so let's go back to the products. Looks good for now. It says it's just a tutorial. We're going to go ahead and publish that. Which will save it. And now it is published. Let's go to the actual store. And let's refresh it. Again, the customer won't have this information at the top. If we scroll down, we will see Bob here has been added to the store. And we can go ahead and purchase him. Go ahead and add him to the cart. Oops. Let's try that again. There we go. We'll just put in the word test for now. And that's okay probably from an earlier tutorial. Anyways, come down here to review. You have one item in your cart. We have Bob the Great King. DCI number of test. It's free. No shipping and handling information because it's not being shipped because it's a virtual product. We're going to proceed to checkout. I'm signed in as an administrator so if you're signed in as an administrator to add these products and you're going to try and test purchase one, be careful because if you're signed in as an administrator as I am right now you can still will be signed in as a user as well for these stores per, uh, purposes so you may want to you know come up here and click log out if you want to test it on or just a normal customer account through the uh, purchasing side of course you know here's the checkout it's gonna have all your billing information where it's gonna be shipped to if it was actually shipped for you know or if you're gonna be charged credit card information additional information this is where the customer will put notes in for the store that they're purchasing from click continue this will be the last page and we'll go ahead and place the order or has been purchased 
my phone just went off saying hey you have an order so let's go ahead and review that order so last step now we're gonna go ahead and review orders as an administrator we're gonna go ahead and log into the website we're already logged in in order to get back to it we go back up here where it says BC comics for this client we click on dashboard kind of takes us back to the home page that we were originally in there we go I'm gonna come back down here to where it says WooCommerce highlight that and it brings up our orders for us we're gonna click on orders and this is gonna load the orders for us this is just the test accounts for us working on it this is the most per recent, recent purchase with all the shipping information, how much it was, when we did it, where it's going to, billing information of the customer. And if we click right here on the items, Bob the Great, and it has this little question mark right here. That was that custom field that we had that the client wanted, which is their DCI number, which is something that they need for their business. And here's all the other test orders that we ran. And what we're just going to do, this number here underneath the name, that is where the company name would be. So as the client here would want this, their customer's DCI number, they could uh, potentially request that their client's customers, excuse me, put their DCI number as the company name. And that is, of course, customizable as well. There you got it. This was Ryan with Marketing Booker showing you how to sign into a website to add products to a WooCommerce plugin, edit, and remove products from the online store, and then again, review the orders. Thank you very much.